Thank y'all for joining me. Uh, I just wanted to run something by y'all real quick because I had an experience today that really hurt my heart. Um, I tried to order food from this restaurant and I got my food and it was wrong, which is normal. Um, but the crazy thing was um, the owner of the restaurant refused to not put the red sauce on my enchiladas, which wouldn't be a big deal, I guess. But my son has a tomato allergy and he has EpiPens. So at this point, it, it, it became a big deal. Um, but needless to say, the woman ended up telling me that she would not remove the red sauce. So I was just basically out of 60 bucks for the food I ordered since I ordered it through one of those, you know, deliver me my food apps. So that, that really hurt my heart. Um, surprisingly, that's the worst experience I think I've had since I've been in Hawaii these last six months. But things like that happen to me all the time here. Like, a lady will literally, if I, I gave her eight pennies, she would literally flip it over to make sure my pennies were real. They will ID me and look at me real close like they're just waiting for something to be wrong. Um, they will run me down in the grocery store when I'm shopping, not say excuse me, anything. Uh, I've seen a lady go off on a boy that was slow, I guess. And he was just shy and apparently she took that in a very offensive way and just went off on this poor kid. I have had many conversations with people who say that they have had some horrible experiences here, which, you know, that's not what you expect whenever you think Hawaii. You think it's a paradise, but for the people that live here, um, it's it's definitely a whole nother world. Um, I, I, I'm, I feel so strongly about these experiences I've had so far that I really think about protesting racism in Hawaii. I think about contacting the news outlets, especially, you know, saying Black History Month is coming up. But the funny thing is, I'm from the South, and people are more racist and unkind here in Hawaii than they are there. They don't, they don't just seem to have a problem with blacks, they seem to have a problem with whites. It, it doesn't really seem to matter. If you're not from this island, they will literally walk up to you and tell you you don't belong here. So that's definitely not the Hawaii that you all are picturing. Um, it's, it's just sad. So I just kind of... My son, he's five. You know, he, his experiences aren't any different. Uh, he... After doing a semester at school, his kindergarten, he's the only child. He, you think he loved going to school and playing with other kids, but he didn't like school so much that he asked me to homeschool him. He'd come home and be like, oh, kids are mean, or the teachers are mean, and I'm like, well, what are they doing that's mean? And he couldn't really relate that to me, but if his experience is anything like it is when, when we're together, you know, I'll take him places to play. Little kids won't play with him. And parents, if they do play with them, the parents will walk up and whisper something to the kid. So it's it's really, really not the paradise that you all, or that even I thought it was. And it makes me very, very sad. And so I guess I'm just posting this video because what can we do about that? The hidden world of Hawaii that no one talks about, you know. You, you come down here on vacation and you stay in Waikiki and it's all beautiful and fabulous. But if you leave that area and you come to the place where people live, they have horrible parks. The parks are, are run down. Um, have, it just looks like there's drug parties going on at these parks. The schools are run down. Hawaii is not putting money back into their people. And maybe that's why their people are so unhappy. I don't know. But I, I really... I wish and hope that someone will see this video and that something will be done to make the people that live in Hawaii as happy as the people that visit Hawaii. Make it a paradise for everybody and not just the visitors that come and spend money because that's where the money goes. It stays in Waikiki. It doesn't go to the schools. It doesn't go to the neighborhoods. It doesn't go to the people. So maybe in a way I can understand why they're so unhappy. Anyways, thank you for listening to me. Uh, 
hopefully tomorrow will be a better day and I won't cry and I can uh, stay at home. I try not to leave the house because unpleasant things happen to us when we leave the house. <laughs> Anyways, y'all have a good night. Sorry, but I need to get something off my chest.